starting from the number one, the first method to, to identify or to isolate the bacterial infections is the microscopy. Under the microscope, we observe the, the, the bacteria, the bacterial morphology, the bacterial shape, and their arrangement. So there are the different methods of different types of the microscopy. The one is the light microscopy. The second one is the fluorescent microscopy, electron microscopy. These are the different types of the microscopy. <clears throat> the bacteria, they are not visible to the nectar eye. Are they are not visible under the microscopy until and unless we stand them. They, the bacteria, the bacteria, they are the transparent. So we cannot, we are unable to see them under the microscope. And we, when we, stain with the different colors these colors they are then the the bacteria they are visible under the microscope so the number one is the light microscopy first of all we stain the bacteria with the different stains and then we observed the bacteria under the light microscope and second method is the fluorescent microscopy the fluorescent microscopy the, the we give the color or we use the dye that is the fluorescent dye to the to the culture of the to the bacteria and then we see under the fluorescent microscope. First of all, we the samples they are stained with the fluorescent dyes, and then they are observed under the fluorescent microscope. The electron microscope. Under the electron microscope, the the bacteria they are seen when the negative staining is performed. The, the negative staining means the background it is stained with the dye and the itself bacteria is not stained. And then we see under the electron microscope and the negative stain, one of the example of the negative stain, staining is the Indian in ink. Indian ink is a negative staining that stains the background of the bacteria and then we see under the electron microscope. The different stains are used in the microscopy. These are the methylene blue, drawn staining, acid phosphate stain, also known as the zeal nail salt staining, and the, and the Indian ink. Methylene blue is a simple stain. We call, the, call it the simple stain because only one dye is used and the gram stain is a differential stain because it differentiates the bacteria into two broad groups, the gram positive and gram negative. 
So the Gram's stain is a differential stain, while the methylene blue is a simple stain. Only one dye is used. Acid fast stain. The the acid fast stain is a selective stain because it only stains selectively. It stains the mycobacteria. So the acid fast stain is a selective stain, and the Indian ink is a negative stain. The second method of bacterial infections to identify the bacterial infections is the culture. Culture means the growth. And how we will define the culture? What is the culture? Culture is a process Culture is a process of cultivation of bacteria. In vitro, a process of cultivation of bacteria in laboratory micro, microbial lab by providing them essential medium. And that essential medium that we provide to the to the Bacteria, bacterial suspension or the bacterial specimen is called culture media. Now, what is the result of of culture? The growth of the bacteria, the bacterial growth that may be of two types. When we have cultured the bacteria on the different culture medium. The two types of the growth are obtained. One is the mixed growth, and the second is the pure growth. Mixed growth means when we have got the growth of the bacteria where the two species are present. More than more than one bacteria are present. In the culture, this is known as the mixed growth. While pure growth means only one species, only single species, one type of the bacterial species is obtained. So this is called the pure growth. When there are more than one species present in the in the culture, this is. Called the mixed growth. Now, what is the purpose of culture? The bacterial culture. What is the purpose of the bacterial culture? Kya maksad hai? Kya fayda hai? Bacteria ko culture karne ka kya fayda? The one advantage is to isolate a specific bacteria. Only single type of the species is obtained by the culture. जब हम culture करते हैं, तो we isolate a specific bacteria. A one type of the species of the of the bacteria is obtained. so this is one of the the purpose of the culture of the bacterial culture second advantage or purpose aim is to study the morphology and the identification the morphologic the structural the features or the morphology of the bacterium the arrangement and the shape these are these these are the different morphologic features which we identify so this is the second advantage of the bacterial culture third advantage 
of the bacterial culture is to maintain the stock cultures the stock cultures means the we preserve the the bacterial cultures which can be used in the research laboratories in the in the future and they can be supplied to the different research institutions so the maintenance of the stock culture and also the the pure culture the culture pure culture of bacterium is used to test for antibiotic sensitivity we apply the different antibiotics and then observe the sensitivity of these antibiotics either the bacteria bacterial culture is sensitive or resistant so this one this is the one of the advantage and the the another advantage is to obtain specific antigens for laboratory use we get the different antigens from the the culture these specific cultures and these can be used in the laboratory in future for the further identification of of the bacteria and the we can use these cultures to study the bacterial genetics so these are the different purposes of culture that we have obtained on the culture media now the there are the different culture media they these are used in the micro biology lab so the bacterial lab the different culture media are used and these can be classified into enriched media examples are the blood agar chocolate agar when the agar is added with the blood it becomes blood agar and when that blood agar is heated that becomes the chocolate agar so these are the the enriched media culture media we add some uh, we add some substances which enhance the growth of the bacteria and these are these enriched media are the blood agar culture agar the selective media the culture media which selectively enhance the growth of a specific bacterium these are called the selective media and they are added with different inhibitors which inhibit the growth growth of unwanted bacteria and enhance the growth of of the selective bacteria so the examples are thier morton medium eoc methylene methylene blue and lg medium that is the lewinston jensen media on the lg media the mycobacterium tuberculosis the so mycobacteria they 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 are grown on this lg medium so the lg medium they are modern medium eoc methylene blue medium these are selective media differential media example is the mac one case agar this differentiates this is called the differential medium because this differentiates the growth into the two 
different type into two different types such as the lactose fermenters and non lactose fermenters met conkey's agar is used to is used to far far for the growth of the anterior bacteria this is the medium especially for the growth for the culture of the gram negative rods which are called the anterior bacteria transport media they are these media are used when we it is required to transport the specimen from from a different areas to the laboratory so so we preserve we we keep the specimen in the transport media and then that is transported to the laboratory the indicator media such as the triple sugar iron agar this is the indicator media the ph index indicator is present in this culture media and when the ph changes uh, changes the, the reactions occur and that is why this is also called the ph indicator media or the indicator media and it is known as the, the triple sugar iron agar is one of the example of the indicator media these are the blood and chocolate agar this one is the blood agar and on the right side is the chocolate agar when the blood agar is heated it becomes the chocolate agar some of the substances some of the inhibitors which are present in the blood they are inactivated and the color of the blood agar becomes the just like the chocolate so it is known as the chocolate agar on the on the right side is the mac conkis agar plate this is the mac conkis agar plate and the culture of the anterior bacteria is seen and these are the isolated colonies so this one indicates the mac conkis agar this one is the mac conkis agar and these these are the different reactions in the triple sugar iron agar tsi so these are the different reactions caused by the different bacteria and which medium is present culture medium is present in the test tubes is the tri triple sugar iron agar for the further identification of of the bacteria the the biochemical reactions or the test these are also required and they are also useful to identify the the a specific species of the bacteria so these are the different biochemical reactions test which are employed in the microbiology lab in the bacteria bacteriology uh, different uh, biochemical reactions are used such as the sugar fermentation indole test urease test oxidase test catalase test coagulase and dns these are the different biochemical reactions which are caused by different bacterial bacteria